everybody, Patrick Dewey here, president and founder of SIN Dental USA. We are here today to talk about our Micron Mapper. A couple things, we just want to cover some features, some of the benefits, and we get a lot of questions asked about specific things on the scan bodies, what comes with the Micron Mapper, and I'll even go into a quick demonstration with the software. So first off, what comes with the Micron Mapper? There's 10 scan bodies that come with the Micron Mapper. You can add an additional set of 10, up to a total of 30 scan bodies. These scan bodies are made from Teka Peak. It's not peak material, it is Teka Peak, a certain type of peak material that's extremely strong and also used for biocompatible implants. So spine implants, skull implants, it's a very rigid, very biocompatible material. Now, one thing to note about the Teka Peak scan bodies, the cycle of autoclaving can, you can run up to 4,000 cycles without noticing any degradation of the material itself. The studies that we have done personally have been 400 cycles at 38 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Over 400 cycles have been autoclaved and there's been zero change in accuracy, calibration of the scan bodies and or breakdown of the material. So good thing to note. Some people like to have all 30 if you do have 30 sets of scan bodies, or excuse me, 30 scan bodies, three sets, because they come in sets of 10, each one has a number on the front. You can replace each scan body individually if you like, but then also you have to note that you can only have a 00 through 09, one set, another set, 10 through 19, and the next set's gonna be 20 through 29. So these are the scan bodies. We have two different types, different dimensions, we find that they work very, very well compared to any of the competitors on the market in the photogrammetry space, specifically when you get into pterygoid cases or quite a few implants. Now, uh, I'll show you a little bit in the software, but something to note well, on the scan bodies, you can scan a case, take one off and capture a scan body behind it in the event it's hidden and the camera is unable to pick it up. So that's the Teka Peak scan bodies. Uh, that come with the Micron Mapper. What else that comes in the Micron Mapper box? You get a Pelican case in the event of your traveling surgeon or prosthodontist or restorative doctor, um, or you go from office to office because you have multiple locations. It's a very durable container. You have all the styrofoam in here, so you can travel, you don't have to worry about it breaking or getting damaged during travel. Also, you'll find two tin canisters. These are meant to be sterilized with the scan bodies and or drivers. You don't have to, you can back them up individually and then autoclave them, but they're here if you want to use them. So one tin canister will come with a set of 10 scan bodies. You'll have another one that will have your drivers specifically for the scan body screws. Something to also note about the scan bodies, they use the PRH30 screw which is one of the more common screws on the market to go direct to multi-unit for temporaries on your 3D prints and finals, whether it's a PMMA or zirconia or tie base or tie bar substructure either way. So this is what comes in the case. Here's the Micron Mapper itself, very light. The camera weighs around one and a half pounds. If you look at the competitors out there, they're around six and a half, seven pounds and they're very bulky and bricky looking. So it's a very sleek design, very sexy, very modernistic. On top is the, it's basically a press button. Um, don't have to worry about any holes or any blood or anything getting inside there because it's all sealed. All it is, is just a quick touch. Just tap it on top, turns it on, tap it off, turn it on. Very simple to use. Personally, Anytime we come into an office and do a training, you'll notice that we'll have the pistol grip holder on there. This helps when you're looking at the patient's mouth or you're looking at a computer or something else, you can handle it with one grip. It's got the finger slot, so your, your fingers fit in there very firmly, very snug. That way you're not worried about dropping it. Again, it's very light, so it's not an issue, but this is the setup. This is what comes with everything um, for the Micron Mapper. The software is combined and designed by a team of experts in the field. Lab technicians, uh, dental professionals such as myself, clinicians both on the surgical side and the restorative side, and we also brought in some assistant staff. We all know that the assisting team does most of the work when it comes to the digital workflow. More optimized that way. So we'll double click on the micro mapper icon. 
And then on the top portion, you have a series of areas you can fill in with information. The beautiful part of this software, there's only two inputs that you need to add. One is gonna be the patient's name. I'm gonna put here, SIN Dental USA. And then I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click upper jaw or lower jaw. Very simple. It's gonna be a lower in this case. Here's our model. At this point, I'll grab my Micron Mapper. I'm gonna turn on the light, and then I can begin scanning. Now you notice the green dots. You wanna center, center those green dots in the camera around that white circle. Immediately after the file's been captured, it automatically pops up. You get a good visual if you capture all the implants that are in the patient's mouth, I look at the patient's mouth, there's four implants. I can look at my screen, I see four implants. Everything looks good. I don't have to save anything. It's all done automatically. I can immediately close out and access that file at any given time I want and send it off to the design team. That's as simple as that. Now, let's talk about some advanced features. In the event if you're a clinician, a laboratory technician, or a restorative doctor that's only working on the design side, you do have the opportunity to do the change geometry workflow. So if you want to scan the micro macro scan bodies and then also do a stage two scan with say BioHorizons healing caps or SIN healing caps or Noble BioCare healing caps, it doesn't matter what the library is that you need, we either have it or can have it made by the company and input it into your software. So whatever you currently use, whatever your preferred workflow is, we can easily implement this here. If you look at the output shape, you can just click on this, change it to whatever file it is that you want, and you'll be done. You also have the ability to tell the software which tooth positions each implant is located. If you're worried that one may not pick up properly, it can tell the software, hey, there's eight implants in this arch. And even though you're showing it's only scan six, it'll still keep scanning until you've captured all eight. A very good feature about the software. Um, other than that, it's very simple, very straightforward. There's not a lot of buttons. It's very easy to use, and it's very, very simple. Now let's talk about an application. So when you look at these scan bodies, the unique part about the Micron Mapper, it also gives you the ability to scan the photogrammetry scan with these scan bodies as well as the soft tissue scan. What I mean by that is, if we're gonna do a day of surgery, immediate provisional day of surgery, that's 3D printed, capture the position with the micro mapper, and then taken into a 3D printer and printed off, delivered all within the same day, we can significantly speed up that process by one unique feature. These scan bodies being used for the soft tissue scan and photogrammetry scan. Now, if you're a power user, we have also the ability to actually capture a soft tissue scan via an alginate impression while a patient is still flat. Why is that important? Well, if I'm a patient and I come into your office and maybe I'm medically compromised and I'm gonna be under anesthesia, I'm gonna have a certain window of how long I should be under anesthesia, where when it comes to the surgery being completely finished, we can immediately finish up putting our multi-units on, then put our, multi, then our, our photogrammetry scan bodies from the Micron Mapper on, take our photogrammetry scan, then take an alginate, and while the patient is flat, snap that alginate at bone level, scan the alginate with the intro scanner, send that to the lab, and tell the lab to add two, three millimeters of tissue pressure to make up that tissue that is not here. So very, it is a power user feature. However, it does give you that flexibility. Whatever works best for you and your operation, this should fit perfectly. Thank you everybody for your time today, covering the features and benefits of the Micro Mapper. If you wanna find out more information, contact us at sindentalusa.com or on social media.